we're going to begin a unit about systems of equations. And our first lesson is about estimating solutions just by inspecting the system. A system of equations is just two or more equations that use the same variables. We will only use two equations at a time, and usually they're going to use the variables x and y. A solution is just any ordered pair that makes all equations in a system true. So it would be an ordered pair x and y, typically x and y, that if you plug it into both equations, it's a true statement in both equations. You could have no solution for a system, and you could have infinitely many numbers for, um, or infinitely many solutions for a system of equations, but most of the time you'll just get one solution and it'll be an ordered pair. We're gonna look at some characteristics of finding one solution, no solution, or infinitely many solutions when dealing with a system of equations. Now we could see um, a solution to a system of equations by looking at graphing both equations. You'll graph two lines. For one solution, the lines cross. It's very obvious that the lines cross. Sometimes they don't cross on the coordinate plane you're given, but you can tell that the lines are slanting toward each other and at some point will cross, but they cross in this example. If there's a solution, the lines will have different slopes. Notice these two lines. One of them's got a positive slope. One of them's got a negative slope. They're definitely different slopes. And they could both be positive and both be negative in uh, different examples and still cross at some point with different numbers for the slopes. And here you see an example of a system that has one solution y equal x plus 4 and y equal negative x plus 6. It's a system of two equations using the two variables x and y. And notice that the slopes, the number in front of x, is positive 1 for the first equation and negative 1 for the second equation, so they have different slopes. And you can see that here. A system with no solution is going to be a system where you have two lines that never cross. The only lines that will never cross are parallel lines. Parallel lines have the same slopes. They would have the same rise over run, but they're different lines, so they have different y-intercepts. So they could look like these equations. Notice in these equations that they have the same slopes, one for both of them. There's an invisible one in front of x. That's your m, your slope. But the y-intercepts, positive 3 and positive 1, are different. So the lines slant the same direction, the same slope, but they're in different positions. These lines will never cross. Um, they will um, always be parallel. Now we have infinitely many solutions. This graph will be um, graphing one of your lines as are shown here and then you go to graph your other equation and notice it ends up being the same line so they graph one above one on top of the other so this will be the same line there's an infinite number of solutions because they have all points in common they will have the same slopes and the same y-intercepts because all points are in common. This is different from no solution where there are no points in common. Infinitely, infinitely many solutions have every point in common. An example of a system that might be, um, that would be infinitely many solutions is x plus y equal negative 2, 3x plus 3y equal negative 6. You could rearrange both of these equations into y equals, and you'd get the same equation. You'd get y equal negative x minus 2, where they would both have the same slope, and they would both have the same y-intercept. Also notice, if it's infinitely many solutions, that one equation will actually be a multiple of the other equation. So look at this first equation, x plus y equal negative 2. And if I were to multiply that equation by 3, 
I would get 3x plus 3y equal negative 6. So the second equation is a multiple of the first. That means they're equivalent equations. They have the same value. You could solve them both for y and they'd have the same value. So these are really the same equation, just written in two different ways. So they have infinitely many solutions because they're really the same line. All points would be the same. In our example, how many solutions does each system have? And we're just going to use inspection to find the number of solutions. You can refer back to your notes, but notice that both of these equations have the same slopes. The slope for both is negative 3. But look at the y-intercepts. For the first one, the y-intercept is positive 5, and for the second, the y-intercept is negative 5. So same slopes, different y-intercepts. If we graphed these, these would be two different lines, but they would both um, slant in the same direction. So they would be parallel lines, which means that they would never have any points in common. They would never cross, so they have no solution. How many solutions does this system have? It's not already in y equals for both equations. So one way we could figure this out is to solve both equations um, for y. Or notice that if we took this top equation and we multiply it by 2, then we get 12x plus 4y equal 24. And it happens to match the other equation, they're the same. They're the same line. If they're the same line, then we know there are infinitely many solutions. How many solutions does this system have? Once again, we don't have both equations in y equals, but we also don't have them set up in a way that we could see easily that one's a multiple of the other. So let's just make sure we arrange them both into y equals so that we can compare them. So the second equation is already in y equals, so let me rearrange the first equation. So I'm just rewriting the first equation where I have some room to work it out. My goal is to get y by itself, so I'm going to get rid of positive 2x by subtracting 2x from both sides. So I get negative 3y equal. 6 minus 2x are not like terms, so I just bring them down. And then I'm going to get rid of this negative 3 by dividing both sides by negative 3. So y equal positive 2 thirds x minus 2. So I'm going to look at both of these equations. I have y equal 4x minus 5 and y equal 2 thirds x minus 2. Notice first at their slopes. I have a slope of 4 and a slope of 2 thirds. The slopes are different. I could also look at my y-intercepts. I have a y-intercept at negative 5 and a y-intercept at negative 2. But the slopes were enough for me to notice that there were different slopes. So there will be one solution. That means that since the slopes are different, these two lines will cross. So there will be one solution.